Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for SrCl2 plus Li3PO4. This is strontium chloride, and then we have lithium phosphate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have three strontiums here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the strontium chloride. So that balances the strontiums. Three times two, that's six chlorine atoms. Let's put a six here. That gives us six chlorines on both sides, six lithiums, three lithiums here. Two times three is six. Now we have two phosphates, but we have two phosphates here. That's the balanced molecular equation. That was a lot of work. Now we can do the state. We want to write the state for each substance. That's going to look like this. So compounds with the chloride ion, they are very soluble. And compounds with lithium here, lithium compounds, very soluble. So these are all going to be soluble. In general, compounds with the phosphate ion here are insoluble, with a few exceptions like lithium phosphate, sodium phosphate. Those are the exceptions. But in general, phosphate's insoluble. So this is going to be a solid. That means these two substances react. This falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So when we do that, this is what we get. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So the reactants up here, I can see six chloride ions. And again, in the products. So these are spectator ions. Let's get rid of those. Six lithium ions here and in the product six lithium ions cross those out but what's left that's the net ionic equation for srcl2 plus li3po4 i'll clean it up write the states we'll have our net ionic equation so this is the balanced net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus lithium phosphate you'll see the charge is balanced three times two plus that's six plus 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. So that all adds up to 0. This is a neutral compound, so we have a net charge of 0 here. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for strontium chloride plus lithium phosphate. Thanks for watching.